also referred to as the M98 or the G98, however its true name is referred to as the Guar 98. It is a bolt-action rifle invented by Paul Mauser in 1895. Mauser 98 influenced most modern bolt designs. And there were so many of these produced, and I bet there is a lot of things that you know about the Mauser 98, but we're going to take a look at we're going to take a look at the top 10 things you probably didn't know about the Mauser 98. Number one, Paul Mauser was born in 1838 in the kingdom of Wartenberg. Now, Paul Mauser also designed the Mauser Model 1871, which was the very first metal cartridge rifle ever used by the Empire of Germany. Number two, in 1859, Paul Mauser was an artilleryman in Ludwigsburg Arsenal, where he worked as a gunsmith. His very first design was a cannon with its own ammunition. Now, what this started for Paul Mauser was it was at the heart of his design is always to build a firearm with its own ammunition. And that defined every firearm that Paul Mauser made. Number three, following the invention of the Dre's needle gun, which the Prussians used, it was the breech-loaded gun using a needle, today we call it the firing pin, to pierce the base of the cartridge. Paul Mauser set out to produce a turning bolt design which used a pin instead of piercing the base to ignite. So began the evolution of the Mauser 98 rifle. Number four. In 1867, turning to the Austrian ambassador for sales, it was in Vienna for testing that this concept fell into the hands of Remington Arms, where Remington at the time, their best design was the 1867 rolling back carbine. But it was patent disputes with Remington that Remington did not move forward with a bolt rifle for quite some time. Number five. The Kingdom of Wartenberg was originally part of the Holy Roman Empire and was also involved in the conflicts with Napoleon. In 1864, King Charles I of the Kingdom of Wartenberg sided with Austria in the Austro-Prussian War, and this proved to be a big mistake. Prussia later occupied most of the northern kingdom of Württemberg. Peace in 1866 and the loss of a lot of land and a lot of money led to the kingdom of Württemberg becoming part of the Empire of Germany in 1871. And it was right then that Paul Mauser took advantage of this new situation by immediately submitting his new cartridge and rifle, the M71, which became the very first metal cartridge firearm for the Empire of Germany, and Paul Mauser took advantage of this political situation to exponentially grow his firearm business. Number six. As this Mauser bolt design evolved, it was the Model 1898 was designed to fire the 7.92 by 57, otherwise known as the 8mm Mauser. It entered into German service in 1898 as the most influential bolt rifle in all European history. Production between 1898 and 1935 is one of the primary rifles in both world wars. Number seven. There are over nine million of these produced between 1898 and 1918. Number eight. The 300 meter accuracy of the Mauser 98 was unheard of at the time. Given an eight inch vertical and horizontal grouping at 300 meters with this eight millimeter Mauser, which is better than the M1903 Springfield, which gave 10 inches at 300 meters. Number nine. There are 27 derivative copies of the Mauser 98, including the Winchester Model 54, and of course the Rifleman's Rifle, the Model 70. And finally, number 10. 17 countries used the M98 as their service rifles. Five other countries took the rifle and refabricated into their own versions. Examples of this was the Czechoslovakians, the Ottoman Empire, and Israel who barreled them to fire the 762 by 51 NATO. And you could always identify that Mauser 98 that it has both German and Israeli markings on it. So there you go. There's the top 10 things you probably didn't know about the Mauser 98. There's probably a lot of things I didn't mention. If you have any, put them in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support our channel through Patreon, that link is below.